Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm going to bring in the Divine Structured Act for the question today and if you would like a personal reading with me you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com and I'll give you all the information. So thank you angels, what do we need to be focusing on today? What do we need to be focusing on today? One card jumps out of the deck here. What's next for the connection? Powerful. What's next for the connection? So I'm going to tap in today using three decks of cards and I may use other cards depending what I feel. I'm going to begin with the Gilded Reveri Lenormand. So we're going to use this one as well. Love how there's a little dog on the front. And again, you've got like a bull bull there as well. So again, I'm feeling the masculine's letter. You know they are loyal to you and they want to make changes for Christmas time. So we're going to shuffle this deck first of all. So what's next for the connection? What's next for the connection? Got three cards, four cards coming out there. What's next for the connection? I'm just going to pop them there. We're going to use the Thelma Tarot. I love this deck. It's really beautiful. So what's next for the connection? What's next for the connection, please, angels? What do we need to be aware of? And what's the energy that's coming in? Couple of cards falling out here. Wow, okay. So I'm going to take those as well. What's next for the connection? And I'm going to use the Angel Quest Oracle. This is a gorgeous step by Karen No. So what's the next for the connection? What do we need to know? What's next for the connection, please, angels? What do we need to know? 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 Jump straight out the deck one card there. And I am being guided to bring in another deck. I'm going to see if I can find it in my... Yeah, here it is. What's next? What's next for the connection? That's what I'm looking for. Bear with me. This is the thing as well, you know, when you're doing... Um, messages like this I'm going to bring this one in as well with Love Oracle when I'm doing focus questions and that jumped out the deck there I have to wait and see what comes out you know there's quite a few cards there I was looking for the what's next step but I'm going to do this instead so we're going to start with this look at this we've got a boat there so what's next for the connection is rising above obstacles you know that's not just a ship there it's a flying ship you know, it's flying high above the mountains there. So I feel this about moving above and through, but mainly above past challenges because you're now becoming the observer. And this really does resonate with the feminine reading today. So seeing things in a higher way. And you've got the number 10 there as well, which is the symbol of power. And you've got the number three, which is about having faith. So this is about rising up above the current struggles and challenges and navigating things in a new way. We've also got the 12 energy in the seven there. So this is about stability and home, manifesting a future, manifesting things in your life and also the sun coming out after the storm. And we've been having a few storms here in the UK and the sun always comes out after. You know, the storm comes in to clear the air, to clear the way and then the sun comes out. And I'm really feeling that there's better times ahead, brighter times ahead, the light at the end of the tunnel, luck being on your side, things beginning to grow, things moving forward, because the masculine is showing you here, he's more focused now on getting this done, and he's showing you he's uncovering the treasure, so he's actually realizing how special you are, and he's realizing that you are rare and unique and treasure to him that you're precious he's realizing how much he treasures you and how much he treasures the connection and he's always known that inside but now he really is preparing to show the truth to the world because the treasure chest is open he can't close it now he's seen what's inside and that's how he feels about you. So because of that, there's going to be quick paced decisions. So this is the energy where anything can happen, you know, especially with the Ace of Swords coming out because the Ace of Swords is the decisions and the Knight of Swords is about the fast speed to it. And you've got that storm clearing there as well. So I'm really seeing this as what's next for the connection is decision, speed, change, and also trusting the love. You know, the Seven of Cups there, lots of things to do. You know, there's lots of things there you may want. 
And it's about taking your time to choose what you want. So I'm really seeing this energy of June, July, which is what's next and what's coming next as a time of choices. And also we've got preserving the environment. It says Archangel Ariel is calling upon you to assist her in protecting our beautiful planet. So this is about change. You know, when we are called to action, we're called to make changes. We're called to do our work and what we've come here to do. So this is very much about the reason we're here on earth. You know, we have a mission here on earth. We are light workers and we're here to help the environment, to preserve it, to look after it. So Archangel Ariel is the angel connected with the material world, the with nature as well, going outdoors. But it's more than that to do with animals, to do with money, to do with the 3D world. And you're being called to assist in protecting the 3D world. Called to action. So what's next for the connection is being called to action. Looking at the world in a different way. Viewing things in a much higher way. Viewing things in a way that brings in power. And look at this, we've got true romance or true romantic. So you will soon experience a beautiful romance. So what's next for the connection is being together again. You will reconcile with someone from your past. So this is what's next. It's about bringing in that beautiful love, realizing that it's true love and realizing that you deserve to have romance in your life. So you're going to experience these things as you come together again. And if you're questioning anything right now, if you're questioning the love or you're questioning work or anything you're going through, if you're unsure about anything, seek to clarify. So call on the angels and they will give you answers. They will help you to gain clarity because you're building a foundation. What is the foundation of your connection? The foundation is love. Love is the answer to all of the questions. So you're building a foundation and that foundation is built on love. And sometimes that can be very overwhelming. You can both be overwhelmed with your feelings for each other. And when that happens, we can take things too serious and we're being reminded by heaven to be more playful, to honor and play and to humor and play. That means bring humor in, and we honour ourselves by being more playful, to make your relationship amazing, to not try and run before you can walk and realise that you don't have to rescue them. You know, you're trying to save this person, stop. And we do that a lot on this journey. We try and save them, rescue them, give all the answers. When really you are a power couple and you save yourself and each other in that way. So you and your partner can face any challenge when you are together. And this is the reason why so many of these cards came up, because what's next for the connection is moving into the energy of being together, a power couple, and not just a power couple, but best friends. You and your partner will have a very close bond, and that's because you are best friends united in love. What's next for the connection? Taking a chance, being brave and approaching your love interest. So what's next is about reconciliation, coming back together, taking a risk, taking a chance. So the love is incoming. There is a new love interest approaching you. And you may see there as a new love, as in someone new. But I'm seeing this as your masculine reborn coming to you in a new way. A new way to love each other is approaching you. The love is incoming. So very powerful message. What's next is incoming love. That means the return. And the return comes when we take a chance. So the masculines will take a chance on you because they know that you are worthy of that. And they know they are worthy of that because they miss you. They miss your friendship and they miss the way you make them feel because they understand you are a power couple. And at times when you try and rescue them, it can get a little bit overwhelming for them, but it also shows them there's a solid foundation to this love. And when you question things, that could be, will we be together again, which you will. Is this true romance, which it is. Just be more playful. And when you're more playful, you feel more youthful. And then you're able to look after the environment and do what you've come here to do, to choose peace, to make the right decisions at the right time, to be more focused on what you want, to trust that luck is on your side and things are building, that whatever storms have been, the light is at the end of the tunnel and you're rising above any pain or fear to focus on the stability of the love. 
building a family, coming together, making things happen. So let go of any fear of change because if you fear losing yourself in this relationship, it's going to grow you. And these cards are moving. Look at this confidence. Archangel Zadkiel is presenting you with opportunities to boost your self-esteem. So confidence, power. We've got the number 33. So 33 or 333 is about the Ascended Masters watching over you, receiving everything you need. Don't be afraid to take a chance or move forward or do what feels right. Have confidence in the love, have confidence in yourself and in the power of connection and you'll be okay. You know, whenever I see a card like this, confidence, it reminds me of Maria in The Sound of Music. You know, she was really nervous about going to the Von Trapp family house for the first time. So she started singing, I have confidence, I have confidence in confidence alone. And when she knocked on that door, she was afraid. But did she show it? No. She acted cool and collected and strong because that's what's within her. And you know that too. Have confidence in who you are because of your power and strength. And I'm going to do a little pick a bow later to give you a quick message from above. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.